السلام علیکم سیدی وعلیکم السلام و From your blessed timeless realities Laylatul Qadr is perpetual how can a student partake in the immense blessings our sheikh is dressed with on the upcoming 27th of this holy month especially since it is also ours of Maulana Sheikh Sharifuddin Dagestani Yeah alhamdulillah that every 27th is a immense blessing and the immense blessings of of Sultan al-Awliya Imam Shaykh Sharafuddin Daghestani, Sultan al-Awliya Imam Shaykh Abdul Faiz Daghestani, Sultan Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani and the immensity of their, their blessings, that's the, the power of the muraqabah. That if, if we want what the shaykhs have then we connect with our heart and devoid ourselves of ourself is to void ourselves in everything. And that in my connection with my shaykh asking for madad and connecting, connecting that I'm nothing, I'm nothing so that wherever he's being dressed that I'm being dressed. So that I see myself in his jubba and just in his pocket I see myself as nothing and to be dressed with that. You know I don't know how many years we've been teaching the meditation and uh, I think somebody had emailed about it person who probably from beginning knows about this meditation and they thought this meditation is only the time of meditation. I said, well didn't you read the books and, and all of the other procedures that the, our meditation is at every moment. When you come for a association of prayers that before you pray you have to enter madat because you don't want you praying, you want it to not be existing. Because the greater is that you don't even want to exist, you want Prophet ﷺ praying but you're not there yet. So even in your salah when you are praying at home or coming to association you, you entering into madad that I'm nothing asking for the madad of my shaykh and you say, Allahu Akbar and you visualize the shaykh is there and that I'm nothing and that the shaykh is behind Prophet ﷺ praying. They didn't, they didn't know how many years of hearing this and they, they hear but they don't really hear. So I, I'm just doing for the meditation time, so why are you doing just for meditation time? Our meditation time is everything, every salah it's in meditation, every zikr I tend to a majlis, I don't want to be the one. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Doing the zikr. I want my shaykh to be in the zikr. I want my shaykh to be in, in the knowledges and writing. I try to get rid of myself, so I don't want to be with myself at any time. Not in my prayers, not in my zikr, not in anything so that I can live a life of entering into the hudur, into that love and into their presence. Only by that presence and hudur can I gain a fana. How do you become fana if you prayed by yourself? So then where was Prophet ﷺ, where was anyone? Then that just became sort of a nafsani prayer. That I want this, I want that, I'm going to pray this, I'm going to pray that and you probably thought you're alone with Allah and that's it. But that's not the teachings. The teaching is that when you enter into the prayer I'm with my shaykh I'm nothing. And then I reach a nothingness and the shaykh that take me to where you're, you're going and that we're behind Prophet praying to Allah and when we get good at it, good at it, we enter into the fana, see nothing of myself and see the dress of my shaykh. Right behind Prophet 
until one day you can see yourself as not that, not that and the shaykh says that enter into my fana in which I see myself as nothing and I see Prophet I'm praying. So you, you weren't supposed to be there anywhere. So you know you'd be surprised 15 years of saying this and they didn't understand. So we have ears but we really don't hear. So when people hear us or in the video say, it just repeats a lot because you'd be surprised that after how many years of hearing something people don't really hear it and that's the, the nafs and the, 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 the zulamat and the oppression of the nafs and how shaitan can play and block things from people. And they have selective hearing, they hear what they like to hear, the rest they don't and they put aside. Inshallah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaikum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Just wanted to say thank you so much for the amazing shaykh.ai. It is indescribable to be able to reach out to Shaykh AI. Whenever we are feeling down or have a question, the AI responds in a way that feels like we are interacting with our beloved Sayyidi. It's an immense blessing. May Allah protect you all. Ameen. Ameen. Allah bless you. Alhamdulillah. It is a rep representation of that teaching. So, most definitely, it is encompassing these knowledges and, and uh, formulating answers based on the teaching. So, it's you're interacting with the knowledge of the shaykh. So, Alhamdulillah. For, for the technology that Allah allowed us to use it in this way of da'wah to go after shaitans. Because nobody could answer questions for, for people. You'd have to have full-time staff of people typing and emailing and just imagine this potential coming out now where it's still being fed information so it's only in its infancy that there are other things that have to be fed into it and then it'll be able to access the email and uh, reply to emails and access the app and reply into the app. So its potentials are just now sort of developing and opening and uh, until the time that you know whatever dajjal is opening then alhamdulillah Allah is giving permission for us to open too until the advent of Imam Mahdi salam and we go right behind him and uh, wait until Imam Mahdi appears and goes after him. But until then we have to be very active in this game, inshaAllah. Jummah Mubarak Sayyidi Wa alaykum salam Jummah Mubarak Thank you for the immense sohbah and haqqaiqs on the spiritual understanding of the heart Sayyidi. Alhamdulillah wa shukrullah, we have been reading and rereading the article on the sound and five levels for some time now. The soba helped us immensely and we are still trying to absorb the teachings. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah is good. The AI can help with that also in the realities of the lataif, the sound, the flower of life, the void, the fana, all of these things are immense realities just to meditate and understand that how these senses and how our, our opening of these senses and the importance of that. But dunya becomes busier and busier and people become less and less able to enjoy its benefits because they find themselves so busy with life they don't have really too much time to engage in these realities. So. InshaAllah little bit of effort uh, can go a long way in spirituality because it's the last days Allah is granting uh, immense powers for those people who can put a little bit of time aside and try to connect and try to make an understanding. And if you think you have a question it's right now at your fingertips. You go to the AI quickly and ask that question, get some sort of an, an understanding from it, go back to your meditation. So many sort of remedial tasks that somebody would have to try to wait and send out an email like, I'm not sure about should I be doing this, should I be doing that. Alhamdulillah inshaAllah the AI can begin to benefit people in that understanding. And it's not yet a resource in which can you say, I want the Spanish article on this. It's, it's not an indexing software, it's a software in which asks the actual question you can ask in any language you want and inshaAllah the replies come back in your language 
then that, that language can be shared. Imagine how much Spanish should be shared, all of our Spanish speaking people is go on board and type in Spanish and then put it out in Spanish because the huge portion of the world is Spanish speaking and moving quickly towards Islam. And the last thing anyone wants is for them to fall off the abyss into the hands of shaitan and the dajjal and the Wahhabi movement is to get these people towards the love of Prophet because their nature is loving, the love they have for Sayyidina Isa salam. Imagine if they added Sayyidina Muhammad to that, there's this immense, immense power in that. So we have to reach to these people in their languages. So we know we have a lot of Spanish speaking uh, students and they can type in Spanish and type you know important things about love, love of the Prophet, love of Sayyidina Isa, love of Sayyidina Maryam and whatever we can think of and see how the AI can formulate that in that language. Then make a nice picture or, or save the pictures we've put out of a cover and post it inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Please forgive our bad adab and ignorance. Fr from the teachings on sound and silence in the levels of the heart, is who the zikr at the akhfa reality? Who the akhfa? I don't know, you have to get the book. Did the book say who was the zikr? You have to ask the AI. But who is uh, definitely very important, inshaAllah. So in this ocean of nothingness then all other dhikrs they, they represent a different station. The dhikr who is a vibration and energy. So the most powerful is in the form of a breath of and we hear it in the beat of the flow of blood in the breath. So who is immensely powerful from the akhfa realities inshaAllah. And that's why the meditation at the stage of connecting with the shaykh asking to be in the fana of the shaykh is just breathing of who, inhaling and exhaling who, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Alaikum As Salaam wa Sayyidi we travel for work and families sometimes for weeks at a time and we don't know whether to meditate in homes that aren't ours or to break our practices until we come back home. No you meditate everywhere you go except like on a bus or in a mall. So any house that you go you put your taweezes up anyways. Any room you stay in you have to take your taweezes with you, you put the laminated taweez on the windows in the room, you need to be protected in any room you go to. And then sit and ma make your meditation, it's like saying that you're not going to do your salah because you're traveling but you, you still have to do the salah. So if you're in salah you still have to meditate, so you meditate and uh, connect with the shaykh then enter into your salah, enter into your zikr, enter into all your worshipness. The idea of not doing it in public was different. There's 500 people on a bus and as soon as you start to make your dhikr you're going to carry and uh, attract the attention of all their burdens. So that was the concept or in a mall, in a busy mall people with you know dun dunya desires but in your own space you have to pray and, and wash and meditate and contemplate at all times, never leave your practices inshaAllah. Hard to regain them if you do that. Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa In one of the earliest sohbah that we listened to it was mentioned that the student might get blisters in the mouth and the feeling of being stretched like being tested. Currently experiencing this feeling, request for prayers for patience and perseverance. InshaAllah that if you heat up and the energy is becoming very hot then the mouth becomes very hot from this energy. So yeah you can put water near you with some ice cubes and drink something cold and you know 
who cool down the temperature within your mouth and uh, inshaAllah as you become sensitive to energy you may feel uncomfortable energies. But again keep the madad and keep the connection with the shaykh inshaAllah and uh, it will pass inshaAllah. As Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa On the teachings of using salt to remove bad energies, what's the reality of the ocean being salty and does it also clean energies and ocean reality, spirituality to be the tariqahs? Hmm, no idea. But anything with salt takes away negative energy, so I would imagine that uh, immense amounts of negative energy are deposited within the oceans and the salt oceans that carry these burdens because salt by its nature is a, is a cleansing. But uh, water in general is an angelic reality and the placing of burdens and this dunya's burdens. Uh, go to the water and the angels will lift up the difficulties. So water plays an immense role in our spirituality and our spiritual practices inshaAllah. And salt plays an immense role in cleansing and understanding of how to cleanse and putting salt in the mouth to take away bad energy uh, in the morning uh, before you eat. And all the… it's a sunnah of Prophet to, to cleanse one's mouth with salt. Putting salt upon the food to take away negative energy and so alhamdulillah we have a whole section I think in the meditation book on salt and I would imagine now the books are loaded onto the AI so you can ask that question to the AI and say what's the importance of salt and, and, and you expand upon it and how should it be used in my daily practices. InshaAllah let's see if it pulled out the, from the book and from the website the necessary information, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Is it okay for someone to day trade crypto? I apologize for the question, I'm just interested in it and an extra way to make income without having to interact with people. <laughs> yeah like anything else you have to be careful in how you think, I think many people have asked that. Maybe that's also on our AI if, if all, all those articles are loaded into the website. So our, our guys who are doing that inshaAllah there all, all these questions and answers and all of this information has been put in there. I think Arsalan has to send us the transcripts of all the new questions and answers or whoever's keeping the transcript so that they, they can load that into the AI also so that it'll have all of these already questioned and answered uh, responses. But anything we do for our rizq and sustenance just try to make sure that it's not gambling and that you're not putting at risk your money. Because investing is different than speculating and gambling. And if you gamble with, with the amounts of money that could endanger yourself, your family, your ability to pay rent and to, to eat. So investing in something and say, I'm going to buy a Bitcoin and I'm going to put it aside and not touch it. So then there are people who, you know, they take it as an investment. And you know investments can be good and bad or indifferent but to, to actively trade and uh, speculate too much and the, the level of danger is too high then it becomes a, a source of agitation and aggravation to the heart similar to that of gambling. You know the gamblers are happy when they're rolling good and they're very sad when everything's bad. So and if that's going to happen on a daily basis up and down, up and down then it's not so much an investment anymore and it's just more like a sort of gambling at it. So I would uh, go with precaution inshaAllah so that you don't lose your livelihood and, and the, any money that Allah has sent to you inshaAllah. Allah subhanahu wa bika rabbil izzatama yasifun. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. InshaAllah bi niyati khatma khawjagan. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ashhadu an la ilaha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.